Wow, it snowed here. I can't remember the last time it snowed. It doesn't snow down here every year where I am. This is the first recorded snow in probably 10 years to be looking like this. It's really pretty. Let's go look at the swarm trap. Well, I haven't caught anything in it, but it is set out and uh, I'm gonna keep it out. I'm deep in the woods. This is right by the house. I mean, right by the house. Uh, but it's nothing but deep woods around here. Let's go check out the apiary down here. Let's go down this way. Boy, it's got ice all over it. Painted a little scene on the back, a little moonlight scene. See the moon? Got some little mountains in there. Little scene painted on the back. We're going to go inside and, uh, paint a little scene on a, on a bigger box. That's what we're going to do today. Thought I'd give everybody one last look before we go in the house. Boy, it sure is nice. And got a little surprise over here in the garden. Even though everything's covered up in snow. We got a... It's either paper white or a daffodil coming up and a little muscary bulb coming up right there. Gonna bloom in a couple of months. All right, now we can start on our box that we got back in the house. And uh, that snow was from uh, last weekend and uh, we're gonna paint this up this weekend now we're gonna start off with some white and uh, just kind of brush it out I may have messed this brush up uh, yep I gotta get a new brush let me go get another brush real quick be right here with you uh, nope, that's a water-based brush. It's all right, I can do this with a larger brush. Uh, for the most part, for the general coverage. And then, uh, well, it won't fit in the can. I'll be down. Anyways, this is just a general little moonlight scene. It's really no big deal. Uh, having to jam this brush down inside this can. <laughs> uh, you start off with some white in the middle like this. And then uh, you want to go to red. You don't want to lay a whole ton of red down though. Just a little bit on the edges, not. Not directly on that white and then come back in with blue right over the top of that. And it's gonna turn a purplish on you. Okay, we're going to have to go to our smaller brush, our filbert. We're going to need a good bit more white up in here. And just kind of blend it together. Just like you would on a canvas, no different. It's just this is wood. And it's going to be going outside. I 
I really needed that half inch, that half inch brush. Really needed that. And it's okay. It's really not a big issue. Because this is this artwork now. Just kind of spread this white out a little bit like this. And you're trying to do some uh highlights for clouds. Now you rake off one side of the brush and you want some paint on there like that on one side and the other side clean like this. <clears throat> then I'm going to have to, I'm going to be painting upside down for a second. Alright. You come in with the clean side and that paint is going to bleed off. The edge and you can tap around like this to make all kind of clouds I have to go in here and kind of clean this up anyway just kind of tap around something kind of like that get it kind of thick to where it's running you can, can go and kind of pick that up and go somewhere else with it There's something kind of like this Nothing fancy. It'll give you a nice little sky to work with. Oh, I'm getting up too old for this. I'll be moving around like that. All right. Now you want to go into your black. And you want to do the same thing. You just get some on your tip, just like this. And the other side cleaned out. You scrape it off, just like that. And, uh, Come in and you just kind of tap, just like this, just like you made for your clouds. And when you tap, it's going to leave some of that paint behind. And you can create a mountain range like this. Something very easy and simple. You just kind of blend that out. And it brings you that mountain range in there. Add to your little scene. Remember to tap up in here to give your uh, give your painting a little texture and uh, make it actually look like a mountain range. You can come to a certain point and stop and make sure that the tip of your brush is pointed down so that the paint feeds off the tip of your brush. Just like this. Just kind of tap around and it'll give you that range, that really cool mountain range. Now this is going to be the honey super that uh, I'm using for the for my first hive. And I'm going to paint this scene uh, on three sides and then the other side I'm just going to leave plain. You can come in and tap at certain spots. Leave some of that black up in there. Uh, excuse me. All 
All right. Now that we got that, you want to go to your uh, small brush. I've got a little bitty brush here. And uh, go back into your white. You don't have to worry about scraping it. Just get it on the tip of your brush just like that. So you can see all the way around. And uh, put that white all the way in there like this. And make sure you get good coverage. And draw out the shape of a moon. Now for anybody that wants to try this with this liquid paint, I would suggest that you paint it like this. Because that paint does tend to run if uh, you let gravity affect it a lot. So since you're laying down more paint, you can lay this down flat. And uh, just kind of let that paint fall up in there. Now you don't have to make this shape exactly perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just enough so you recognize that it's that that's supposed to be the moon. I'm kind of older, so my hands shake a little bit, anyways. Uh, so this is this part is really good for helping with that muscle memory. Just like this. You say it ain't got to be perfect. Then you want to draw you out some moonshine. Some, the moon shining out. So you just take and draw away just like that. I said my hands shake a little bit, so I'll try to move a little bit faster to uh, give you that effect of light shining out away from the moon. And you end up with something like that. Then uh, you just let this dry. And, uh, there you go. You've got a night scene on a on a hunt on a honeybee uh, honey super box. Y'all have a good one.